We are here as a, a, a subcommittee of the National Development Implementation Committee in charge of uh, governance and public administration. So in the morning we had our meeting just to review the programs and activities within uh, that uh, subcommittee. And then we picked on a few ongoing projects that we needed to visit and have an assessment, but at the same time appreciate the challenges that those projects uh, are undergoing. So first project uh, was in Kwale uh, at the Shimoni port, the project that is being done by KPA to address uh, the challenges around uh, trade as well as uh, what is happening within the, within the ocean in terms of fishing so that we can be able to improve, uh, improve in, in that space, but also develop uh, the people of uh, Shimoni, as well as Kuala County and the coast region in general. Then we visited uh, the Kenya Shipyards Limited, which is uh, an agency within the Ministry of Defense, focusing on supporting the vessels, both uh, the naval vessels, as well as shipping and transport vessels not just in the ocean, but uh, in our inland waters uh, as well. And then we are here uh, at the Miritini facility that is run by NACADA, that is uh, working on rehabilitation of uh, people or our sons and daughters who are affected by drug and substance uh, abuse. Uh, from here, we will also be visiting the government chemist uh, which is uh, focusing on uh, supporting our forensic laboratories, but also for investigations, primarily to deal with crime, but also for those who are in uh, the business uh, handling various uh, pharmaceutical products. So in a nutshell, that is what we are doing today. And uh, we've had an elaborate uh, meeting and we've not only just focused on the programs or the projects that I've highlighted, we've also focused on other government uh, programs that are going on both in the coast region as well as uh, northeastern so that we are able to unlock the bottlenecks that exist in those programs and projects for Wanainchi to reap maximum benefit uh, out, of, uh, out of those programs. Thank you. I've got two questions. One, uh, this committee visits uh, the region ahead of the president's expected visit. Perhaps are we expecting you know, to see an expedite in the process of completion of this project? And if at all, have you witnessed or experienced any stored projects due to challenges, probably financial? Uh, maybe just touch on that. And then the second question is this, this issue about this road, Meritini, Mangongo Road. It's really, really bad. Mm -hmm. And as a committee, what can you tell us about? So part of our visit is to see first and what is actually going on and uh, be able to also suggest solutions on how to unlock those, uh, those, those challenges. Whether it's uh, with regards to coordination between various uh, agencies in government or whether it's with regards to resources, we are then able to prioritize what uh, we think is critical for purposes of closure. Now, the president is expected to visit the coast region next week. Uh, no relationship because we are uh, ongoing with the, our usual work as a, as, as a subcommittee. But yes, it helps uh, in uh, providing briefs on uh, the outstanding or the glaring issues that uh, he would also need to speak to over and above uh, everything else because it will be an extensive tour of the coast, not just uh, Mombasa. Yes. The road is definitely a big <laughs> challenge, and we are, to we'll, we are talking to our colleagues in the, in the Ministry of, of Roads and Transport to fast track, uh, at least uh, to make it uh, usable uh, or user friendly. So it's something that we are picking up out of this, uh, th this visit. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, yeah, thank you. Pardon? Since you are going to visit a, a government chemist, yes. maybe has the subcommittee got a chance yeah. to discuss why there is a delay of DNA results? I, I wouldn't say that there is a delay in getting the DNA results, 
but uh, part of our visit to the government, chemist one is uh, why, why the government chemist? We are basically trying to increase capacity to be able to process uh, like the stuff you're talking about, the DNA. Now with regards to Shakahola, uh, there is uh, one, there is an active court case, there is active investigation that is going on and it's important to appreciate the circumstances surrounding the, the entire spectacle. A number of those bodies that were retrieved were highly degenerated and therefore it's not an ordinary test or that you'd walk into, into a lab and get the results the same day. But uh, for now, what we are looking at is uh, how do we support the government chemists to unlock uh, the bottlenecks in terms of completion of the, of the facility and uh, making it more efficient.